Greetings and salutations, internet friends, and welcome to another episode of the First Time Film Club. That's about all I got. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep that going. You did so well. I mean, people are already freaking out right oh, now. Oh, yeah. Uh, hi, guys. Hi. My name's Emily. Uh, I'm typically the first time watcher. Uh, however, Matthew, my husband, is today's first time film club particular person. I'm the, nailed it. I'm the titular. First you're, time Yeah, viewer. you're the titular. Everything's flipped. It's so weird. Um, for those of you joining us for the first time, hi. Uh, this is different. Normally I'm on that side, he's on this side, and typically he's the one who's seen the movie first, and I haven't, but this is one where we flip the script. Um, what we're doing is watching our way through a very long list of movies, and today's film is actually one of our just some super fan Patreon picks, mm -hmm. and it happened to be one that I've seen that you haven't. Correct. There's like seven whole movies in the whole world where that's the well, case. No, there's plenty of movies I haven't <laughs> seen. But yeah, maybe very few that you have seen that I haven't. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, today's movie is, in fact, the 2015 family comedy Inside Out. Mm -hmm. So the way this typically works is you say the thing, but I'm saying the thing. Tell you the name, genre, and year, and you will say what you know about the movie, and then we'll watch and review afterwards. So, Matthew, what do you know about Inside Out? Uh, not a whole lot. I know it is a Pixar film, so I'm kind of expecting tug on the heartstrings. What? Pixar would never do that. Yeah, or just completely ripping your heart out, you know, looking at you up. <laughs> Still not over it. <laughs> Still not over it. <laughs> Might no. never be. Yep. And I know it has something to do with emotions and like uh, the personification of emotions, kind of. Okay. Cool. Cool. That's cool. really all I got. All right. Well, neat. Um, this is exciting for me. I hope you all uh, find it as exciting. So, anything else before we get into it? Nope. Well, I have <laughs> something. Oh. Today, if you see me with my phone in my hand, it's because I'm taking it that we'll discuss after we watch the movie. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, also, I'm sorry we're so flustered and flipped around. I completely forgot Pippin. He said, huh. He's like, I'm unbothered. Yes, uh, this is our cat Pippin. Sometimes he sleeps up here, sometimes he's on the floor. If he disappears, that's where he went. So without further ado, you ready to get into it? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's watch Inside Out. Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? And there she was. Oh, mm -mm. 33 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> headquarters only got more crowded from there. Okay, I like that it's called headquarters. Yeah, you got it. That's fear. He's really good at keeping Riley safe. Okay, what is that? This is disgust. That is not brightly colored or shaped like a dinosaur. Hold on, guys. <laughs> it's broccoli! Yep, get it out of there. <laughs> Same. Still the same. <laughs> Wait, did he just say we couldn't have dessert? That's anger. We'll eat our dinner right after you eat this. <laughs> <laughs> and you've met sadness. <laughs> she, well, she. <laughs> I've checked. There's no place for her to go, so she's good. What's <laughs> for her to go? These are Riley's memories, and they're mostly happy, you'll notice, not to brag. Is that Amy Poehler? Yes. Okay. You'll probably notice a few voices. These are called core memories. Each core memory powers a different aspect of Riley's personality. The islands of personality are what make Riley... Riley. <laughs> <laughs> the floor is lava. <laughs> Oh, I love that game. And we're out. Nice job, everybody. Let's get those memories down the long term. So far, I'm really, really digging the design and visualization mm -hmm. of the mind and memories. Yeah. We love our girl. Oh, she's got great friends and a great house. Things couldn't be better. Riley's 11 now. What could happen? <laughs> I was thinking it's gonna be like adolescence hormones. 
there's our new house. And... It smells like something died in here. Guys, you're overreacting. <laughs> Nobody is dying. A dead mouse! Ah! Riley can't oh. live here. He's right. The worst. Okay, sadness is Phyllis from the office. Yeah. Know her. Hey, I saw a pizza place down the street. Maybe we could try that. What the heck is that? Broccoli on pizza. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. Gross. Seriously. San Francisco, you've ruined pizza. <laughs> Bash the Hawaiians, and now you. <laughs> Him and disgust. We get along. <laughs> Broccoli pizza? Pineapple pizza? First off, shut your face. <laughs> Pineapple pizza is delicious. Mm. Mm. I like that mm. time with the dinosaur. That was pretty funny. <laughs> what happened? I just touched it. Just don't touch any other memories until we figure out what's going on. Mm. Uh, a core memory! Oh, no! You make making mistakes like that. I'm awful. No, you're mm. not. I'm annoying. They, well, uh, <laughs> try to think of something funny. Um, oh, remember the funny movie where the dog died? Oh my <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> what was that? Was it a bear? It's a bear. No, Bears God. in San Francisco. I saw a really hairy guy. He looked like a bear. <laughs> <laughs> there are at least 37 things for Riley to be scared of right now. The smell alone is enough to make her gag. I can't believe mom and dad moved us here. Look. Okay, who are the other voices? It's driving me crazy. I'll tell you this. Disgust was also in the office. Mindy Kaling. <laughs> on tonight, Dream Production? No. Come live with me, Riley. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I can already tell. It's gonna pull on the heartstrings hard. It's gonna be fine. I don't know what you're talking about. It's be about growing up and changing memories or fading memories. So you have two voices left. Anger and fear. Mm -hmm. I need a list of all the possible negative outcomes on the first day at a new school. Way ahead of you there. Does anyone know how to spell meteor? <laughs> Bill Hader. <laughs> Train of thought, right on schedule. <laughs> okay, that's nice. <laughs> Worst scenario is either quicksand, spontaneous combustion, or getting called on by the teacher. We have a new student in class today. Are you kidding me? Out of the gates, this is not <laughs> happening. <laughs> Didn't see this one coming. Pretty much everyone in my family skates. <laughs> We did, did. till I moved away. Joy, no! Oh, core memories! You can't just avoid sadness. Like, it's it's a part of everything. Can I say that curse word now? To <laughs> <laughs> be appropriate, I imagine. Do we find out what the curse word is? Long-term memory. Riley's islands of personality, they're all down. We can fix this. You're not in headquarters. Without you, Riley can't be happy. It's okay to not be happy sometimes. <clears throat> Are you already tearing up at something? No, I'm fine. I'm a rock. <laughs> oh. Did you guys pick up on that? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Signal the husband. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> He's making that stupid face again. <laughs> For this, we gave up that Brazilian helicopter pilot? <laughs> <sighs> Sir, she just rolled her eyes at us. Make a show of force. I don't want to have to put the foot down. Here it comes. Prepare the foot. Just shut up! Fire! That's it. Go to your room. Foot is down. The foot is down. <laughs> that could have been a disaster. <laughs> Well, that was a disaster. <laughs> Come fly with me, Gachinha. <laughs> this is how I'm going to be picturing my emotions and thoughts from now on. <laughs> I also really like how in the parents' control panel, like all the emotions are sitting at the console working as one, and in hers, it's like one's trying to control at a time. Come on. Where's my happy girl? Oh, he's trying to start up goofball. See, that's, 
That's depressing. <laughs> Losing a part of yourself. Wait, Joy, you could get lost in there. Think positive. Okay. I'm positive you will get lost <laughs> in there. You are my map. Let's go. Lead on, mind map. Show me where we're going. Okay. Only, uh, I'm too sad to walk. Oh, God. How dare you betray me so accurately? I love her. <laughs> mind workers. Phone numbers. Oh, we don't need all these. They're in her phone. Oh. <laughs> that is real. <laughs> Nothing comes back from the dump. Yeah, when Riley doesn't care about a memory, it fades. Happens to the best of them. Yeah, except for this bad boy. <laughs> this one will never fade. <laughs> Triple that gum. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we send that one up to headquarters for no reason. I love it. <laughs> this again. <laughs> Ooh, look at you. Huh? I will take you, but not you. Hello. Oh, I know his voice too. Riley's imaginary friend. The joy? Mm -hmm. Oh, what the heck you doing out here? Oh, we gotta get you back. Uh, I'll tell you what, follow me. Remember your rockets. Of course, it runs on song power. <laughs> what exactly are you supposed to be? <laughs> Mostly cotton candy, but <laughs> shape-wise, I'm part cat, part elephant, part dolphin. That sounds like something you would create at Build-A-Bear. <laughs> It's imaginary. It's imaginary. It's a bag of holding. Mm -hmm. But Joy, this is abstract thought. What are you talking about? I go in here all the time. It's a shortcut, you see? D-A-N-G-E-R. Shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> what I tell you, you'll be at headquarters in no time. Oh. Ah. Never seen this. Oh. <laughs> There are four stages. This is the first. Do not panic. What is important is that we all stay together. Oh! oh we're <laughs> the second stage. We're deconstructing. Okay. I love this. <laughs> I love this whole visualization of abstract thought. Oh, no. We're two dimensional. That's stage three. <laughs> we're getting nowhere. Dad, I'm lacking that. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry, we can catch it. This isn't another one of your shortcuts, is it? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that reminds me of someone. <laughs> it's me! Whenever you're navigating. Listen, I may not have a sense of direction, but I have a sense of adventure. Direct quote from when we got lost <laughs> from, your, from your navigation skills. It's Cloud Town! <gasps> oh, it's Osa! Oh, oh, let me try! What's the big idea? Big oh god, he just committed he murder. Just kill somebody. <laughs> mm. Who the heck is that? Imaginary boyfriend. <laughs> I would die for Riley. <laughs> <laughs> I would have sworn Sparkle Pony Mountain was right here. I right, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. We'll have to Princess come back. Dream World. Oh, no. <sighs> My rocket. It still has some soft power left. Who is your friend who likes to play? No, no, you can't take my rocket to the dump. Riley and I go to the moon. Riley can't be done with me. Hey, it's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting sad over an imaginary character named no, Bing Bong. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm sorry they took your rocket. It's all I had left of Riley. I bet you and Riley had great adventures. We were best friends. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay now. Okay, make a note of that. I love that whole section. Sadness and bing bong. We're finally gonna get home! Oh no. These facts and opinions look so similar. Ah, don't worry <laughs> about it. it. Happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yep. Uh -huh. What is it? Uh, oh no. An idea. Just the best idea ever. You're saying we run away? Did I remind you of how great things were there? Our room, our backyard, our friend. Dribbling gum. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Dribbling gum. That's going to be a message. <laughs> Riley's gone to sleep. We're all on break. The train of thought doesn't run while she's asleep. Oh, we can't wait that long. How about we wake her up? Huh. Wonder what that means. Oh, well. Let's go with it. 
bing bong, need to learn how to read. Mm -mm. He's, uh, he's doing fine. She wakes up sometimes when she has a scary dream we could scare her. We're gonna make her so happy she'll wake up with exhilaration. We'll excite her awake. Then that's never happened. <laughs> bing bong? Yeah? Don't let anything happen to these. Got it. Just follow my lead. Here we go. Oh. Ah! Ah! Bark, bark, bark! Bark, bark, bark! Joy, <laughs> this isn't working. Oh, God. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, they're taking bing bong. There go the core memories. My hat feels loose. Hmm. How do we get in? Let me see. You, you got my hat or, or is that your hat? Yeah, it's my hat. It says my hat. Wait, it, it says my hat? My hat, it says. That's what I wrote <laughs> in my hat. <laughs> bing bong. <gasps> <laughs> it's Jangles. Who is the birthday girl? Nope. <laughs> hey, hey, Hadness, did, did you hear about the party that we're having? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, Joy. Isn't it a birthday party? Birthday? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> We can't even get a good night's sleep anymore. Time to take action. Mm. Okay. Now the more I'm hearing his voice, the more I'm disappointed that I didn't notice. Well. There's a bus leaving tomorrow. Perfect. A ticket costs money. How do we get money? Mom's purse. <gasps> Where was it we saw it last? Triple <laughs> Okay. Yay! Yeah, I love the running gag. You can see everything from up here. Look, there's inductive reasoning. There's deja vu. There's language processing. There's another deja vu. like perfect it's visualization of an earworm. Mm -hmm. The hockey team showed up, and mom and dad were there cheering. Look at her. Oh, I love this one. I love that one too. It was the day the Prairie Dogs lost the big playoff game. She felt awful. She wanted to quit. <laughs> Sorry, I went sad again, didn't I? I'll tell you what, we can keep working on that when we get back, okay? I believe you'd both touch it at the same time. Be a happy and sad memory. Honesty Island? <laughs> a recall tube! Sadness, stop! You're hurting Riley! Oh, no. I'm sorry, Riley needs to be happy. Think that's a mistake. To get it, Joy. We're stuck down here. We're forgotten. I just wanted Riley to be happy. <laughs> it was the day the Prairie Dogs lost their big playoff game. She wanted to quit. We have to get back up there. Joy was stuck down here. We might as well be on another planet. Another planet. Who's your friend who likes to play Bing Bong, Bing Bong? <laughs> bing Bong is rocking with the yellow red Bing Bong, Bing Bong, who's the best in every way? Watch things all the same! No. Mm. <sighs> bing Bong's not gonna make it. Damn you, Pixar. <laughs> I got a feeling about this one. Take a note. Bing bong dump. Take her to the moon for me. Okay? First time I heard that, I sobbed. Oh no, it's mom again. What do we do? Oh. This is madness! He 
he shouldn't run away. <laughs> Don't agree with that. Uh -huh. Saying your husband was blown away by an <laughs> Was he with anyone? Yes, and there she is! <laughs> hey, come back here! Forget it, Jake. It's Cloud Town. <laughs> it's stuck! Oh, great! What? what do you mean it's stuck? Now what? No, 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 no! What is this? Guys, we can't make Riley feel anything. What have we done? Hey, look at me. Did you mean what you said before? I would die for Riley. 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 This is crazy. No, no, no. Joy, be positive. I am positive this is crazy. <laughs> now for Riley. <laughs> oh, I wish Joy was here. <laughs> Make another note. Black console. Sadness. Riley needs you. You need me to be happy. I want to go home. Please don't be mad. Oh, sweetie. We're not mad. Come here. Damn it, Pixar. <laughs> A multicolor ball. That's it. Touch it at the same time. Friendship Island has expanded. Glad they finally opened that friendly argument section. I like tragic vampire romance island. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here you go. Your new expanded console is up and running. Yeah, room for everybody. That hey, guys, what's puberty? <laughs> it's probably not important. Oh, for the sequel. It's not important. You know, you guys don't have to come to every game. Are you kidding? <laughs> she loved the face painting. Best idea he's had in a while. He's a really good guy. <sighs> <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, sorry. Don't worry, bro. We all been there. Yeah. We've been through a lot lately, that's for sure. Things couldn't be better. After all, Riley's 12 now. What could happen? Hmm. <laughs> Puberty. Puberty. What's that? <laughs> I'm sure it's not important. Jordan. Uh, five months, two weeks, and four days until summer vacation. Then it's off to the Bahamas with you know who. Gum. <laughs> <laughs> Skies everywhere. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is fine. We just need to go to our happy place. Triple them gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they had to do it one more time. Probably too busy knocking memories off the shelf. <laughs> that's about right. There you go. <laughs> so that's why Luna it's does you. that sometimes. It's you. No, that's more Luna. It is. It Every is. now and then he gets zoomies. Yeah. So check out the list. So Amy Poehler, Richard Kind, that was his name. Kevin Kevin Diaz, Diane Lane was mom. Did not. Kyle McLaughlin was dad. Shit. So, that was Inside Out. Yes, it was. Uh, well, what'd you think? I enjoyed it a lot. It was actually it hit on a deeper level than I was expecting. Mm-hmm. Just because I think it's so highly relatable, maybe, I don't know if I'm going to say especially as you get older or being older and watching it and just the whole, because everybody's gone through that. Growing mm -hmm. up, losing friends, losing certain parts of your personality, mm -hmm. just, uh, memories fading. Or having your personality evolve, I think. Yeah, that know. too. Like. It's all part of the growing up process, mm -hmm. which or what I think is like the overall message of the movie mm -hmm. or the, the gist of it, that every emotion, like you got to have balance, mm -hmm. like every emotion has its place in life, especially sadness, because like, yeah. you got to learn how to deal with the sadness to be more balanced. Yeah. 
I, I really enjoyed that. That's like I'm, I'm thinking on a deeper level than I thought I would be about about this Pixar movie. Well, so that's one of the things that a lot of people um, have said that this movie is really good for like kids also because it sort of highlights yeah. for them that dealing with big emotions and difficult emotions is important and is a necessary thing. But like you said, it hits for adults too, like even more so. Yeah, because you've been through that and it kind of, for me at least, it, it took me back to that kind of confusion. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And I think... Um, it's making me very introspective. And I'm... <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't prepared for that. Uh, the movie's giving me an existential crisis. <laughs> This is what happens when I don't take notes or I'm not prepared. They, my my train of thought yeah. is all over the it's place. Choo -choo -choo. It's a great, yeah, like you said, it's great for kids because it's also a great visualization, I thought, of like the inner workings of the mind. Mm -hmm. And like, oh, there were so many small things. Like when she was first born, she just had one button mm -hmm. and that was it. And then even as she kind of got older, like the console got bigger, but it was still one emotion trying to control it at a time. Mm -hmm. So and I liked how they alluded to that was going to, like as she grew up, that was going to be, her console was going to get bigger because when it went into her parents' brain, they had all the emotions set at one and they were all working together yep. in balance. I will ask, did you notice who seemed to be the leading emotion in each of the parents' brains? Uh, yeah, for dad it was anger, uh -huh. and for the mom it was sadness. Yeah, and so Riley's chief emotion was joy. Mm -hmm. The mom's was sadness, acting as more of like a complex emotion, like empathy, essentially. Yeah. And then the dad's is supposed to be seen as more of like emotional protectiveness kind of type situation. I have to watch again, but like at the end, whenever uh, joy and sadness worked together, they were mm -hmm. both on the console, and it created a multicolored memory mm -hmm. to show i'm assuming that show more complex yeah. emotions like mm -hmm. it's not just one or the other it's not just black or white it's not sadness it's not joy it's bittersweet yeah i, I didn't i didn't look around or notice were there memories in the back of the like parents minds that kind of showed that um i'm not sure honestly i would have to go back and look too because i was focused so much on the actual yeah like, i was focused emotions. on the emotions yeah do you want me to kind of like talk about the move the notes that you brought yeah, up yeah i told you to take some notes yeah so the first one was sadness okay. and bing bong the, yes, I, I feel better that's, now that's a whole nother i really loved that part and it goes back to the overall like what i said i felt was the overall message was that like Every emotion has its place in life mm -hmm. and like is a part of the processing. Yeah. Like sometimes and, you have to be sad to move yeah. on. So I really like that. You know, Joy was just trying to distract him and cheer him up and like that's not what he needed right mm -hmm. now. And like it's when she's just sat down and actually listened to him and helped him embrace the sadness and work through it mm -hmm. and he felt better. Yeah. So, really enjoyed that. With Bing Bong in mind, the other one you said was the when Bing Bong jumped off. Oh, the Bing Bong dump. That, uh, yeah. That, in my mind, was like the pivotal Pixar, you know. Um, yeah, that's just another, and that brings up another question. Is Bing Bong lost forever? Like, because her personality evolved and, like, the islands got, like, rebuilt but those original islands were gone. Mm -hmm. Did they get rebuilt from what left? Or is it just completely new? Like, so, could Bing Bong be recalled back from down there? Or is, he, is, that just an, is that another like metaphor for her growing up, losing a part of her younger self like forever? Probably, probably a metaphor. But so my understanding was she they got the original core memories, right? Those went back. So that was kind of how the original core memories were re-implemented and then new memories, yeah. uh, you know, spawned new islands or expanded or whatever. Um, but I think as far as Bing Bong goes, I, I think that it was kind of like an interpretation of accepting that as you grow up, you will lose things and yeah that's kind of how i read it yeah but it was whenever the islands came back at the end mm -hmm. I just, that made me question it you know what if it makes you feel better absolutely he can be recalled 
Um, the, oof, to take her to the moon, though, got me. Yeah. Move, move. Um, the last note that you said to take was the black console or the gray console. Yes, that. What did you I think, think is, that was? I, I think that may, for me, be like the most important metaphor message of the entire movie. And it's one I really loved. To me, that uh, that was like depression. Yeah. Like, and it wasn't. I love the way they depicted it. Is that none of the emotions at the console were working? Like yeah. she couldn't feel anything. It wasn't. It wasn't. Oh, she just feels too sad. Like mm-hmm. it's too much sadness. Like because sadness was the one that fixed it. Yeah. So I really, I really, really love the way they depicted that. The absence, the, the absence of, emotion. of emotions, the lack of being able to feel emotions and process them is uh, depression. Yeah. Yeah, that one got me too. Um, and like I said, this movie hit me on a much deeper level than I yeah. thought. It was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it was directed. I saw at the end it came up. Peter Doctor, who did, who did Up. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure, yep. and I think he did Monsters Inc. He did, and I think he did one or two other Pixar he, movies. He, Soul was the Soul. other one that he uh, did. That's the one I haven't so, seen. So yeah, neither of us have seen that. No, I remember his name from Up. You're not gonna forget that. <laughs> it's burned into my core memories. You asshole. Like, I remember you, buddy. <laughs> So, did you have any other notes? There's some other things I'm thinking of that I really, yeah. I, really I mean, like. if you want to go ahead, and, just small things, yeah, like uh, please. fast things. I like the running gag of the the triple was a triple dance or triple mint gum. Triple, yeah, the the damn earworm, earwig, yeah, yeah. whatever. The earworm, just <laughs> and just like the minute you try and remember something, like they were trying to recall something important, or yeah. like like nope, like, nope. Here's you get this, this jingle, instead. yeah. Uh-huh. That uh, the whole, the whole abstract uh, animation sequence. Yeah. I just love the whole like deconstructing and the different like animation styles and like, they were using during that. Yeah, and my understanding is that is the actual like the four stages of abstract thought, right? So I thought that was very cool that they actually showcased that. Oh god, when they were on the train, I thought, and they knocked over the boxes. <laughs> oh no, it's facts and opinion. <laughs> They look really similar, and like Bing Bong just putting them all in one box. It happens all the time. Don't worry. Yeah, about it. I was like, just that quick little thing. Uh, yeah, I actually missed that the first watch through. So this is one of those. Oh, like, that, yeah, that was yes. one of those. It's just kind of like a small gag, but I, I liked it a lot. I Hilarious. Was, I was stuck on the same thing on, on the train when he goes, oh, and there's this, and there's deja vu, and there's this, and there's deja vu, and there's this. <laughs> It's like, ha, 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 see what you did there. Uh, but yeah, no, go ahead and go with whatever notes you got. Okay. Let's get into the notes. All right. So this film took about five years to make. Oh, wow. Really? Um, which I think is stands to reason because it only featured about 45 animators, which is around half of what they normally have for Pixar films. So not super sure why they only had that many, but hmm. I guess they had their reasons. Um, Maybe budgetary, man. Speaking of budget, this one did have a budget of $175 million. Oh, wow. Care to guess what the box office was? $250 million. Higher? $300 million. $500 million. $800. Oh, Jesus. (laughs) $58.8 million. Okay, yeah. Um, Only reason that it didn't go, like, number one in the box office was because... Uh, Jurassic World came out like uh, the same uh, week, I believe. It became number one like three weeks later. So that, that stands to reason. Yeah. I was about to say I saw Jurassic World, but I didn't see this. See, so, so uh, which the first uh, that's, uh, that's a different com- train com- of conversation for a whole other. You said that, and I was like, well, the first Jurassic World was okay, and then it just kind of went down here, then uh, then anger, and then. Uh, <laughs> Mainly because Jurassic Park is a core memory in my brain. Yeah. Of, yeah, because a uh, little bit of trivia. Like, my... The first movie I ever saw in a theater was Five of Goats West. Mm. I was like five or six years old. Mm-hmm. But Jurassic Park was 93. So that was, I was like eight. And that was, yeah, that was one of the most... That was one of my first, like, eye-opening, mind-blowing <laughs> experience. Yeah, <laughs> seeing those dinosaurs <laughs> on the screen... So that's a core memory for me. Yeah. It's like, yep, train of thought, phew, we're just <laughs> going in loops in different directions. I love Sorry. it. Sorry, get, get back to the notes. Back to this movie. Oh no, I'm here for it. I love Matthew trivia. It's my favorite kind of trivia. Okay, speaking of random trivia, though, 
Uh, Pete Doctor said each emotion was based off of a kind of basic shape. Um, can you guess what joy was? Uh, if you think the abstract is a, actually a star. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah, because she was very pointy. Yeah. Sadness was like a ball. A teardrop. Teardrop. Okay. Yeah. Kind of oval. Mm-hmm. Uh, anger is a fire brick, like a like charcoal brick kind of thing. Uh, fear is supposed to resemble a raw nerve, and disgust, broccoli. Yep. <laughs> I got that one. Uh, so the, do you notice kind of like the texture to a lot of the emotions? Like their skin had sort of like this fuzzy, bubbly yeah. kind of thing. Whenever it got close up, especially like them like holding memories, it was yeah. very almost pixelated mm -hmm. looking. So that was originally just intended to be for joy. Due to the difficulty of the animation process, it was really just supposed to be one character that had it. It took the animators like eight months to sort of figure out how to do it. And because it was so difficult, they decided to scrap it. Oh. and just kind of go simplistic. It was just difficult and a little unaffordable, honestly. However, when uh, Pixar chief creative officer John Laster saw it, he said, that's great. Put it on all the characters. <laughs> I'm sure the animators are like, mm -hmm. it's great. It's, it's just great. great. I just imagine all of their emotions were just. <laughs> yeah. No, they are, they are, their emotions are probably all like Gary the bus driver at the end. <laughs> Just a Oops, bunch of people. Yep. So you recognized quite a few voices. I think I only had to tell you one. And it was only Lewis Black, right? Yeah, I recognized everybody else. Yeah. Uh, I'm still disappointed that it took me forever to... Okay. Or I didn't get Lewis Black. It's funny, though, that that was the one that you didn't get because when they were kind of, like, pitching the idea and, like, thinking about, you know, who they could possibly get to voice different emotions... Um, John Lesnar said, imagine the fun we're going to have when it comes to casting. We could get people like Lewis Black as anger. And, and they got yeah, me up. <laughs> oh, there was a part where you asked me if I knew who the voices were of the two uh, guards that were outside the subconscious. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I never recognized. I didn't really get a whole lot of time with them, so I didn't. Yeah, so I was unfamiliar. So I saw this note as I was kind of looking up just different trivia and stuff. Now, I know who Frank Oz is. Uh, but Was he one of them? Yes. Oh, okay. And Dave Goals, G-O-E-L-Z. Apparently, they're both Muppets. I think Muppets. he's a Muppeteer. Yeah. A, a Muppet voice. Yeah. So they were the <laughs> subconscious. Yeah. They were the subconscious guards. And apparently, they were n named each other. Like, if you look in the credits, like, the person that Frank was playing was named Dave and then right. vice versa. And I think that they were basing their whole back and forth hat thing off like of, on a bit they've done before, off of a different movie or something. But it's not. It's not ringing any bells to me off the top of my head. Yeah, but I did love it. <laughs> it says my it's like hat. it says my name. Wait, does it say my it's hat? My that's what I wrote on the top of mine. <laughs> if y'all know what the bit they were that they were referencing, drop it in the comments. So they did. They corresponded and like consulted with a lot, a few different like psychologists in the field. Uh, there was one in particular, Paul Ekman, who's an American psychologist, um, who's a pioneer in study of emotions and relation to facial expressions. Apparently, he works with a lot of like um, facial recognition software and other kind of type stuff. Mm -hmm. Like he's. I don't know. He's he's done stuff. He's okay. he's renowned, I guess. He's, <laughs> he's well known. done some things. Listen, he's done some stuff. And one last thing that I will say that I read and I was like, oh snap, yeah, is some people kind of like commented saying that this wasn't so much about Riley learning to deal with her emotions, but Joy learning yeah. to uh, not be so controlling. Yeah, because you just wanted to be happy all the time yeah and, uh, yeah kept pushing sadness especially to the side mm -hmm. i could see that yeah and just kind of accepting that every emotion has its role and has its place and uh, <laughs> i read that i was like duh but also yeah <laughs> <laughs> well did you have any other thoughts or questions uh, or just one other thought i would die for right oh my god <laughs> Uh, but no, I think we covered pretty much everything. As I said, train of thoughts going all over the place. And this is what happens when I don't take notes and things. My uh, did, you, did you notice my ensemble? Yes, it's the, the you get it now. He gets it's, it now. It's joy and sadness. Yeah, he got it. He got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, this this was great. 
All right. Well, then in that case, do you want to rate it? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I will give this a nine. Okay, same. For this sure. Is, this is a nine for me. Yeah. Pippin, could you stop giving yourself a bath and give the people a rating? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this little whisker just went. Um, oh, ten beans. I apologize. Yes, ten beans. Uh, well, as always, gang, if y'all have any fun facts behind the scenes, I know there's a lot of like kind of trivia and interesting tidbits that I probably left yes. out. I would be very interested to know. I'm probably going to go down a rabbit hole and look up some things myself here in a little bit. Also, how much is this bothering you? <laughs> <laughs> Just curious. Put that down. Let us know. How, how, how... distracting was it? How was it like... Just... It felt wrong. Uh, but yeah, y'all let us know. What would you rate it? Um, just give us your comments. You know how we love those. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like the video. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. With all that out of the way, I'm good. Are you good? I'm good. Pippin, he's contemplating life. It's just a bunch of cats <laughs> running around in there knocking over his console. Uh, you guys take care. We will see you next time with another first time. Bye.